Should you be able to predict him what will be the product? Use what we did in the first example, the first year IE. So get two ion from Li OH. Li is one plus. OH is one, one negative. Put on top. At the bottom, we will put that Mg two plus and Cl one negative to a cross. Would it be E? Uh, we said E? E, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the answer is E. Eh? So what you what you do, uh, you will get you will get these two possible products, L I C L, and once you do the crossing, so you do the crossing later on by yourself, and then you will get that M G and O H two like that. <laughs> right? So that is called the, the double crossing. They do a switch. And uh, so then let's identify what are the state. What is the state for this first one? What is the state for the second one? Think about the solubility rule. So right now you can use the solubility rule if you don't memorize. Make sure you just active learning and you just do something. You don't just, uh, what do you think? What is uh, the first one? Soluble or insoluble? Yeah, anything has an Li, right? So this is the aqueous. And this hydroxide belongs to the second table, which means most of the time it's insoluble. Uh, it exceptions is those Li, sodium, ammonia, and Mg, and uh, it's not those exception. I mean, in the second group, we have the calcium and the slightly soluble, but Mg is not soluble, so therefore this is uh, solid. So this equation, uh, you can balance this equation. Uh, uh, as you balance the equation by put a two here, by put a two here, uh, and this equation called the, we call that the, molecular equation. Uh, so now let's do the second one. Let's from this one let's get the complete ionic. So this is our first equation. It's called the molecular equation. How you get a uh, complete ionic from this molecular equation? Uh, how, you, how you do that? We have right here. Uh, what you do? Yeah, separate those strong in that right. Uh, I say this is the first one. Uh, what kind of compound is the first one? Is this acid? Is the key is the L I O H acid? Uh, no, there. Um, is that ionic? It's a base, but it's also ionic, right? The ionic is that soluble, yeah. so therefore you can separate, right? Uh, you will get uh, two Li one plus and uh, AQ. So even though in the answers you don't see those numbers, uh, therefore I add in that word called the pi. You don't have. To you know, don't, don't have to use them, pay attention to those numbers, and now as you say those uh, MG and uh, so on, so you'll be fine. Right? Uh, so then just make the problem like a complete, you will have uh, two of those uh, OH my negative uh, increase. <coughs> so then the next uh, reactant is MG Cl2, and I will say that is also like ionic, right? And that is also soluble. Right? So now we're going to separate, you'll see that will become like Mg2 plus and aqueous plus 2Cl1 negative aqueous. Right, so that's all, that's our world, that's, those are the right hands. And move on to the product side, and you will have uh, 2 Li plus uh, aqueous plus 2Cl1 negative uh, aqueous. And then plus, the last one, you don't separate. The last one, you don't separate. The reason is, uh, so this one is not uh, SE. Not uh, SE. What do we mean by uh, SE here? Yeah, what do we mean by SE here? So this is SE. So this is a. Uh, a blue 
then for the strong elaborate. Right. So then obviously what Mike said is right. So once you get this equation, and then this question asks you which one of those uh, type of species in this equation, you can see MG <coughs> here. Even though MG like uh, um, uh, MG is okay, like only like one one MG here. And OH one negative also here, even though OH one negative have two here, but I said you don't have to worry about the number. Okay, any questions? <coughs> Alright, so do a very similar practice for the next one. So very similar practice for this one.
Right? Any questions? Okay, now why not is uh, E? So I want you to like uh, uh, just uh, remind us we need to like pay really, really attention of all of, of those details. Right? Uh, see, uh, any of those choices in this equation, and let me, let me change, the, change the pen. So let me circle this equation. This equation is our, in, in that one, uh, is our complete ionic. Right? So now the question is, in this complete ionic equation, do we have a k angle 3s? No, 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 we don't have that. Do we have KN3S? No. Do we have N31 negative? No. Do we have PVI2? Do we have PVI2? Yes, we have PVI2. But the question is PVI2 what? Equals. And then what do you have here is what? Solid. Now, do we have a solid? We have a solid, but, but the solid is PVI2. Now, that formula is what? Yeah, so just I just uh, made this you, this question just make sure you 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 pay attention to all those details. Alright, so that is the first type of reaction we call them precipitation reactions and pretty much you take those uh, two equals uh, ionic compound and mix them and if you see the precipitation, you have chemical reactions. Another type of chemical reaction is called acid base reactions, also called the neutralization reactions. And uh, we did not talk about those uh, characteristics of acid base in details. But I think from your previous uh, chemistry background, you know that acid usually takes like the sour and the base take like the base ray, and acid, uh, you know, the base feels <coughs> slippery. And acid will turn the lithium's paper to red, and the base will turn to blue. So those kind of properties, are, if you put those acid bases together, if you put them like the same amount or more, and uh, that means uh, you are trying to produce the same uh, H plus and same O H one negative, then your 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 those uh, spectral characteristics will disappear. So that's what we call them neutral addition reactions. Um, so try to memorize what are those common acid, common base. And you probably already memorized this like three, uh, six uh, common acid, and you can see here is one example. Uh, this HNO3 is on the list, uh, is our strong acid. And uh, later on, you will study this uh, calcium hydroxide is also a strong base. And um, so then you will see it's very similar to what we saw before those uh, double crossing. You just think about uh, take the potent ion. Okay? Uh, you think of, you can think about this as H plus. If it's a plus, obviously it's the cation. You can take the cation right now and together with NO3, then just switch. Uh, so if at the beginning that is with NO3, uh, the other negative ion is OH and that just just cross swapping, right? Uh, so the, as a result, uh, this. This is our cation, and this cation right now is with this uh, anion, and you just take this cation and go to the other anion. Because only cation and anion can combine. Cation and cation, they will not combine. Even though in solution, they will just collide and, and bounce away. Okay? Uh, so then, whether they really will combine together in, in the solution, or they will produce a solid or not, depending on the solubilities and depending on what we, what we will, uh, will have. So here is H uh, plus and uh, OH and negative together, and these two together produce water. You can, you can see, you can call that H-OH, but in general, you call that H2O. Right. So that's another driving for us for the chemical reactions. Uh, that's kind of reaction called acid base reactions. And obviously, you can find this equation very easier, like, like just use the coefficient. Right, uh, let's see, that's uh, another thing. So now, same as what we did here, if you have this equation, this equation, uh, so just remind you this equation called the molecular equation. 
and uh, you can separate those uh, strong electrolytes, and then you can cancel out those uh, separated ion, right? And finally, you get the net ion equation. Uh, you do a practice. Okay? Uh, so let's. I will give you the starting point. Just, just, just tell. Let's start it together. Like which one we can separate, then you can do a practice to a separation. Okay? Uh, same rule. You are separating only the strong electrolyte. Okay? You can see this first one, HaO3, uh, is a strong acid. So even though in the last few examples we separated this type, okay, soluble ionic. So we did not study those acid base reactions. So therefore, the first one is separate. Okay? But we did not separate those yet, so I will do the first example of how we separate. Okay? So what you, for the acids, you are separate, you will get an H+. Okay? So H+, plus, uh, then you have two H+. Okay? And then the next one, you will have NO3, Y negative, that's also what we equal to this. Now that's, that's it. So then you are continue with uh, Continue with the next one. The next one is the calcium hydroxide. You see, you see, is that uh, uh, one of those uh, strong acids? No. Is that ionic? Yes, because you have calcium. Is that soluble? Yes, because that aqueous. So therefore, also separate that, right? Uh, can you? What about this one? Have you separate this one? Yes. Yes, because it's also what ionic, yeah. soluble. Okay. Yeah. Ionic also soluble. That's very important. Uh, so you separate the first three, what about the water? Uh, water in the H2O, uh, you can use either state, so state and liquid, you don't sell, can't separate anything in liquid. Are you see, uh, is that strong acid? Not strong acid. Is that sort of ionic? No, so therefore don't separate. Right? Uh, so how you separate and uh, you just identify the same ion on the left side, on the right side. If you have, <coughs> call them out. Okay. And then simplify the numbers, you will get something like that. Okay. Um, but this, not, not for all those acid base reactions, okay. so this net ionic equation becomes very similar. You can see this H plus, which representing acid, uh, or H and negative, which representing base, produce what? Uh, so that's the one reason sometimes people like to use the net ionic. Uh, just tell you like, this are really what happens, all the other is the spectator. So not all the acid base reaction has this. This is only for the strong acid, strong base, and also under one conditions, the salt produced is also soluble. Okay? But some, uh, some strong acids, for example, sulfuric acid, okay? if you take a sulfuric acid with this guy, and you will okay, get that the calcium solvate will become an insoluble. Okay. So then your, 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 your equation, your net ion equation will be a little bit different than this. Okay. Uh, for most of the strong acids, strong base reaction that become that. Uh, for the weak acid, weak base, no. For the strong acid, weak base, no. So make sure you the condition, condition. And okay. like this is called a strong, uh, strong electrolyte, which may have two words, and you get this equation, also have a few words. So this strong acid, strong base, and the salt is not uh, solid. So any of those conditions are true, this equation is not true. Right. Um, so then the already uh, noted is so acid in uh, a good kind of compound in water that will produce a plus. Right? Well, okay. uh, so then plus sometimes called the uh, uh, H3O plus because H plus is, is a very small uh, particle. Uh, it just it's just a proton, so therefore it's sometimes just together with one water called the hydronium ion. Most of the chemists like use these two like equivalently. You can either use H plus or use H three O one plus. Base is a, a probably different type of compound uh, materials. So in water they will dissociate. Uh, base either dissociate. Or, or, or ionize, but somehow give you those hydroxide ions. Uh, 
so base such as ammonia uh, in itself don't have that hydroxide in it, uh, uh, so therefore you cannot call that a dissociate. And uh, it can react with the water, uh, so this ammonia has one pair of non bond electrons on the end that make this uh, electrons very, very attractive to something that has positive. Uh, so water has H, H is relatively positive, so therefore this N can grab that H away from water. And uh, uh, so then if you take one H away from water, water is H2O, then that will rise H2O. And H2O, you also see that it's become one negative, but you take H plus away. Right. So then you can see the important is about uh, the reaction between S and base is uh, uh, the H plus and OH are negative will make water. Um, and obviously, for some of those uh, reactions, um, uh, the, the, the cations from the base uh, react with the anion from the acid also produce a sort of salt. So, in general, the word equation for acid base reaction is acid plus base produce salt and water. So, even though that's probably not always true for all those acid base reactions, but for most of the acid base reactions, this pattern is true. Uh, and I will give you two tables. Uh, one table is for the common acids, so the next table is for the common base. If you are not familiar with those acid base, I think it is better right now to just uh, memorize uh, those few guys. Okay? Uh, so here I give you like a four of those strong. So here is a strong acid, a strong acid. Obviously, this is only four of that. And in this chemical class, I said, in general, we'll say this is six. So in addition to this four, you will have like the H PR should be almost on the on the strong list. And here we in this table, I do not write any of those states. And obviously, to be completely right, you need to add in the equals to all of the states for the for the essay. Right. So the base. Uh, also, like uh, we, we usually will classify the base as a strong base and as a weak base, and something maybe like it, uh, you know, not that sharp. Um, uh, so you have you have that a few examples of a strong uh, base, uh, and so these two uh, is pretty much those group of one way. Uh, let me just use this hydroxide. Group one A and hydroxide. Understand? What do we mean by group one A? What do we mean by that one A? There's matter in one A. Huh? What is the top most matter in that of group one A? Look at that table. What is the top most matter in that group one A? You can have I. So therefore, you can add in like one more and then have I or H. But you don't have to memorize all the details, you just see like group 1A hydroxide, group 1A metal hydroxide. All of them in strong base. <laughs> right. So the next is group 2A. Okay. Not of all the group 2A will give you a strong base. Okay. Uh, only that last, last three, calcium, strong chain, and barium. Understand? But here you only have one. You can write a similar uh, for the strontium. And you can also write a similar for the barium. So this is the group of 2A plus OH1 negative. So why group of 2A like uh, kerosene and strontium and barium has hydroxides? Uh, you, why you need the two hydroxides? Because those group of 2A become positive too. So to balance the positive two and hydroxide is negative one, so therefore you need two. So two and two and two. All right. Uh, so that's the pattern to memorize the strong as a strong base. All right. This is just a picture to represent those uh, neutral vision reactions. So one test tube has like this uh, base and this has acids. We put them together. And uh, before you put them together, in that one you have that any ion have hydroxide ion. And uh, here you will see the chloride ion and the hydronium ion. Uh, now let's see what happens after you put them together. 
some of the ion are dis disappear, and that is the driving force. Right? So what are ion are disappear? What do you think? Think of what these are here. So remember what you have at the beginning? We have at the beginning is uh, for the base you have an ND plus and original and negative, right? So you have an ND plus and original and negative. For the acid you have H plus and CR1 negative. But if you have that in, in your mind, you will see that when ion disappears, the OH and the H plus. All right, so uh, so let's do some of those practice about writing the molecular equation and the ion equation for the acid base reactions. Okay? Uh, so again, very similar to what we did before, you have to be able to identify what are the reactions. Okay? The reaction for this program is uh, uh, H I. Uh, the state and obviously the state of carrier is aqueous and uh, the other reactant is uh, barium hydroxide is uh, BaOH2 and that's also carrier is aqueous. All right, so these are our uh, two reactants. Right? Uh, what kind of reactant are we going to have? Depending on what are, we, what, what are the two reactants. Right? So we studied the first few sections about the precipitating reactions, which means you take a two solution, both are uh, ionic. Right? Now here you will see you have one solution, which is uh, this one is our acid, and this one is our base. Right? So in general, acid plus base produces what? <coughs> but the salt putting in the quotation mark, not the table salt, not usually, not always the table salt. And then plus, plus what? Plus what? Right, so therefore we know we'll have H2O liquid and then plus, plus what? The other one will be the, the source. So that means you take the cation from the base and then together with the anion from the, from the, the acid. And this one is the equals because we know uh, the I, I dying. Uh, bromine and uh, chlorine usually the soluble except that A, B, and P, and mercury. And then the B, A is not in exceptions. Right? We agree. So these are our two products. Right? So we have the product of water, we have this called salt. I, I shall write them separately. I shall write them like that. Right? Not really uh, matching the. Uh, now let's balance the equation. Right, that's a balance of the equation. Okay. So how many how many I we draw for the two here? And we draw for the two here. Okay. So then that's it. That's this equation called the molecular equation. Right? Uh, so for any equation, if you want to if you want to convert the molecular equation into the complete ionic equation, what do you do again? How you change the molecular equation into the complete and ion? into the complete ionic equation. Just, just separate those guys. Okay? okay, now let's see. Can we, so we separate the first one, the H I? Yes? Why we separate the first one? It's strong electrolyte because it's a strong acid. So any of these six strong acids, separate. So you have uh, two H plus equals plus uh, two I one negative uh, equals. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, uh, so what about the second one? Do we separate the second one? Yeah. Why do we separate the second one? What's the reason we separate the second one? I'm kind of what we said here. Is is one can come down? Ionic. Going to the base, we, uh, the book of said the base. Please. The strong base is also separate, right? But that's all. Because those strong base are all ionic, soluble ionic. Okay? Soluble ionic is therefore separate. When you separate, just, uh, you just take this uh, Ba2 plus, that becomes aqueous, plus uh, 2 of H1 negative, that becomes aqueous. Right? Right? So then, 
And every time in the water, so that's our first thought line. You going to separate the water? Whether you separate or not, just think about that. You, all you can think about when you have something liquid, we have something gas, we have something solid, never separate. If something is aqueous, maybe. Okay? Okay. Right, so I'll keep this uh, H2O liquid. And the last one is also separable because that is also ionic, also soluble. So you have that uh, Ba2 plus and equals plus uh, 2 I1 negative equals. Okay. So keep in mind, so those numbers sort of matching in the, in the molecular division with the number here, but maybe at a different place. So here you can see this I2, this 2 is a subscriber. Right? Now here, you don't use that 2 as a subscriber. You put that as, as a coefficient. Understand? Okay. So I get these two here, the two i from that. Okay. You don't keep that as subscriber. You, you, you keep that as subscriber. You totally, you are totally confused because that that means i my negative become like kind of like a polyatomic ion. Okay. Right. Uh, so this equation, what what do you call this equation? Yeah, so this is called a complete, complete ionic. Okay? Now let me change the pen. Uh, how you get uh, the net ionic from the complete? Yeah, so you will cancel out the, the spectator. What is the suspected ion in the, in the equation? Let me circle this. So let me circle this complete ion. Who is our suspected? Uh, what do you say? Barium. Barium. Barium here, barium. Two plus, two plus. What else? Iodine. Yeah, so iodine and iodine. Oh, I missed something. If, if, if somebody, somebody tell me what I miss, I will give you like uh, two already. Uh, you are will secure something like S or whatever. So in this complete ionic equation, I miss, I miss a number. I miss something. Two one. Two one. Right? Right. right. So let's keep that. So that's a matter, not a kind of out. Right. So what you get, you will get uh, two H plus. Equals plus uh, two H one negative uh, equals plus uh, two H two O liquid. Yeah. So this is after you remove those spectral ions. So as I said before, sometimes you do like just one extra step. This is one example. That was the perfect example. So everything here here, here have uh, have a number two, right? So then you do one more step. Just cross out those. <coughs> And that's out of that, that will be really your net ionic. Okay, any questions? You mentioned that uh, strong bases are always soluble. Is that yeah, yeah, the yeah. rule? Yeah, okay. yeah. You, you, yeah, you can see in this class, that means if okay. you study the organic, uh, there's a strong base, then that does not. Okay. Okay. Okay, the priority is very similar. Okay? So if I tell you the uh, two reactants, so we have one is H2SO4. Um, so the question here is equal, so therefore it's AQ. Okay? And then you uh, write another reactant, which is uh, LIOH, also equals. Uh, I think you should be able to identify this is called the acid and this is our base. If you know that, so you have, if you have acid base reaction, uh, you can predict what it can produce. Right? So what it can produce <coughs> the source and H2O. Therefore, you get for the H2O here. Another right? problem is how you get a salt. You get a salt by taking the cation from the base. Okay. Combined with anion from acid. So these are our base. The base has Li one plus in it. 
and this is called the canon from the base. Right? The anion from the acid is SO4 to negative. And so now I, uh, I will just see like right here, L I1 plus SO4 to negative. Right? So I think hopefully by now, I, I know like most of you should be able to get it. Right? So you will put a, a, a 2 for the L I. Yeah. Why is it 2 negative? Why uh, SO4? SO4 uh, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, that's just memory. If you just see like a symbol, and why that is too negative, uh, that pretty much uh, uh, you can study like uh, uh, later on in the hour 17, I mean, in hour travel, travel 8, for example, yeah. travel 9, and uh, you draw the loose structure, you have sulfur, like arsenic, and arsenic, and arsenic, and arsenic, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, then if you have a two negative, that means these four, these five electrons together has two extra electrons, and then you are able to uh, make like all the electrons satisfy the so called orbital rule. Okay. Oh, yeah, the end would be eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So everything, the so called orbital, some of those, those electrons don't need orbital, like H, mm -hmm. boron, aluminum, so usually they don't, even though they don't have eight electrons nearby, they're still stable. But most of the electrons need uh, eight electrons. <coughs> Uh, so right now, as I said, in this chapter, a few, a few chapters, uh, so you, you can kind of like this. You just, at the beginning, you probably just learn like those memory, then later on, you probably learn a uh, little like those theory uh, to understand why those, why it's having like those. Okay. All right. Uh, so therefore, you have this equation. This is a preliminary equation. Then next step, you want to balance. So when we balance, you put uh, two here, so there will balance two Li, and uh, so then you will put a two here, plus the two water. This equation is the molecular equation. Uh, so next step, next step, and, uh, you just do the separation, get the complete ionic. Uh, I think by now, most of you already know what you separate. You separate those strong acids, uh, and also separate the soluble ionic with both of these belong to the SD. The first one, H2SO4, is our strong acid. So therefore, you will have uh, you will apply the two H plus aqueous, uh, and then you will only produce one SO4 to negative aqueous. And then the next one is our base, but base, uh, some of those strong base is uh, kind of special in our soluble ionic compound. And you will have two Li plus uh, aqueous, and then plus uh, two of each one negative uh, aqueous. And uh, this will be the separation of the two reactants. Okay? Then the products, you follow the similar rule. Okay? Similar procedure, similar rule for this precipitating reaction, acid base reactions. Um, so that Li plesium sulfate is also ionic and also like the soluble because anything has Li is soluble. And uh, then SO4, you don't separate the sulfur with O, you just write SO4. Right? So in this uh, two like uh, reaction type, uh, the acid base reaction, the precipitating reaction, uh, so SO4 nitrate, the phosphate carbonate, so it's called the polyatomic ion. Uh, pretty much see like it's the same as before reaction, other reaction, and then next reaction we'll study those sort of the oxidation reduction reaction that might change. So even though you have a polyatomic ion in the oxidation reduction reaction, that might change. But for these two types, uh, precipitating reaction, acid base reaction, so we, uh, that will keep the same. And uh, so then the other product in the water. So as you know. Uh, for that, I, I did not finish these two states, so therefore you know that uh, aqueous and A2 is a liquid, right? So that's it about uh, this uh, equation. This equation again is a complete ionic. Okay? Uh, so I want you to emphasize that, uh, that word. Complete does, does not mean completely separate every formula in the molecular equation. And you only separate some of those aqueous. 
you may not order those defects and forget about those gray weight, those gas, those solid. Okay. Right. So how can you get the net ionic from this complete, complete ionic? You remove what? Spectators. Spectators. Now let's see, what is the spectator here? The air high spectator, right? Air high spectators, what else? SO4, SO4. Yeah. So again, after you remove those, you probably have to do like one more step, you will get something like a 2 H plus AQ plus a 2 O H1 negative AQ produces a 2 H2O liquid, right? And basically, you get the idea is okay, if I'm on the test, if I want you to assume like those free response, I will give you credit, but unlike those multiple choice, you have to do like one more step. We, you, air, we have two here, we have two here, we have two here, we should count out those two. Okay? So what you do, uh, in general, you just cross this out, cross this out, cross this out. Now what I have over uh, is uh, H plus, plus uh, OH1 negative, produce H2O uh, liquid, so this is the uh, aqueous and this is the uh, aqueous. Any questions? All right. So different way to ask you to write those different equations. So this one, I just ask you, what is our second ion? That is, you have to be able to complete the equation, predicting what are the products, and you can see what you can separate. First, identify what kind of reaction is, is possible this 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 reaction. What kind of reaction is this reaction? Very good. So that's it. As in this reaction, okay, most of those as in this reaction produce water and salt, right? All right. So what's the answer of this? I think that is right, right? So you will get uh, water is H2O. Water will have salt. Yeah, you just take whatever level over and put them together. Okay? Uh, so if you do the water right, so you will put the potassium ion from base. So this are our base and this are our acid. Okay? And that will be Li NO3. Is this uh, Li NO3 soluble or insoluble? Yes. Very good. So that's. Uh, I think this equation also balance, right? And then you just separate. Right? You separate the first one will become Li1 plus aqueous then OH1 negative aqueous then H plus aqueous then NO3 one negative aqueous. Okay. Well, later on you, will, you probably will understand why I separate this HNO3. Why I separate H and O3? So water you don't separate, you just keep water. And then you will have Li1 plus equals NO3 one negative equals. So even though like in the in the answers you don't have the states, you can pretty much identify what are those ions. So obviously the, the spectrum ions is uh, this one. And this one, right? And also that and that. So therefore, the answer is B. Right? Any questions? Right. So then, yeah. once you study the acid base reaction, acid base reaction, uh, you use a lot of time in the titrations. Okay. In the titrations. Uh, titration is a technique uh, often used in the lab to find out the concentration of a solution uh, uh, by the titration process. Uh, uh, in the titration, uh, the unknown solution is added to a known amount of another reactant until the reaction is just complete. And then at that point, uh, you will know how much uh, uh, 
uh, both right hands exists in the in the mixture of how much both right hand was used. Uh, if you know those informations, and uh, and obviously you can use our uh, definition of molarities, so take the moral divided by liters and find out uh, the concentrations. Uh, obviously there are some other calculations, not only the concentrations. And uh, if if you have uh, the concentrations, you can find out the volume. Okay? Uh, I think the key point about uh, in those kind of titration technique, you pretty much will find out uh, the, the, the equivalent point. First, use the lab technique, and then theoretically, you will find out the sort of the uh, stoic geometric or uh, uh, moral ratios. Right? So I think how you see those uh, problems, you probably have a little better understanding. Uh, you want to, you want to like uh, have some of those uh, technique or chemicals, find out uh, what is the point, uh, what is the time, or how much you add uh, when like all those red hand is gone. Uh, this is the point, in, is a very important point in the titration process. Uh, so you want to find out a point. Uh, all the red hand is gone, uh, and then your your acid base red hands will become neutral. Some other red hands maybe become like a zero conductivities. And, uh, right. So you can use different like instruments. You can use chemicals. Some of the chemicals will have different color as different uh, solutions. Uh, those, those are sort of the indicators. Or you can use those uh, modern technology like the pH meters. Uh, so let's see, this example is about titration, and uh, those kind of calculations depend on the moral ratio, so therefore uh, it's very crucial to have this uh, balance equation. Uh, so the titration of this, uh, this much uh, HCl, if I write this underneath is HCl, so I know I have this much uh, volume of HCl, uh, but I don't know the concentration, so therefore the concentration I don't know. Uh, and then you will uh, titrate this with uh, the base. The base is the sodium hydroxide, which has this much uh, ml and has this much uh, molarities. So I said, um, you just either adding either one to the other one. Okay? Uh, you can you can for this example, I think because the the, the volume of uh, 10 ml is precise. So what you do? You can take a pipette that has a volume 10.00 ml and pipette out the HCl solution, you don't know the concentration, and put it in a beaker. Uh, uh, so here is our HCl solution. Uh, and then you are adding this type of uh, base solutions. And uh, so I said in the titration technique, you want to find out a point uh, when both of these two right hands is, is gone. When both two right hands are gone, and uh, then you will know how much uh, how much uh, NaOH you already added. Uh, if both are gone, that means the NaOH was gone, disappeared, not simply like we write, disappeared, was consumed by the HCl, by the by the counter uh, compound. Okay? Uh, so therefore, use the more ratio, you can figure out how much HCl are there. Okay? Because HCl take away those base. Uh, uh, so then how do you know exactly both of them are gone? Well, at the beginning, if you if you only have HCl, obviously your solution is uh, is, uh, is acidic. Right? So you gradually add in those base, and your solution becomes less and less acidic and more and more basic, even though not very basic, it's still, still acidic. But uh, at some point, uh, so when all those H plus in your initial solution that has HCl was used up by that OH because OH comes from hydroxide, right? So once you add in sodium hydroxide, those OH will take away those H plus, so gradually those H plus will disappear. At some point, all those H plus disappear. Okay? And at that point, it's very, 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 very like uh, important or sensitive. If you add in one more drop of uh, sodium hydroxide, then your sodium hydroxide uh, concentration will jump. Then your solution simply changed from uh, uh, acid 
and goes through very quickly into basic. And then some of those indicators, for example, the final fastness, uh, some people even use those doing some of those other work. Uh, so my, my picture changed color like, depending on the day. If you if you the data has like more carbon dioxide, then then, then you will have like more acid. Um, so you can see those. Uh, so once your uh, your your reaction mixture become basic and the solution will change color, so then you know that is the, the point that is pretty much very close to that everything is gone. And even though you might have one extra for each uh, in your solution, right? So that's depend on this technique. So that's and therefore we get those numbers. Okay. Right, so now once you have this and you once you have this idea, then carbon is pretty much the same. So what do we do here? We first will convert those information into how much more of an evolution we have. So what we did at the beginning of this class, so I will just sign from 12.54 ml and it weighs. And first divide by one. Solvent, uh, and the OH, and both of them and the OH, and then this comes out. Next, use the uh, molarities. Remember, I told you this guy, you, know, you can always change into a fraction, right? So, whenever you see this capital M, you will have that uh, 0 0.1, 0, 0, mol, and the OH over 1 liter. And it weighs. Right, so therefore, how much uh, and it weighs more we have? You will have a 0 0.001254 and it weighs. Am I right? Yeah, so you take a, you take a 12 point five four divided by 1000, then times this one, you get, and you get, you get that. Right? So then, the question is ask you to find out the concentration of HCl. Right. So now we have this information. Now this question is like the, uh, this guy in, in capital M. Right. So M HCl equals what? What is the definition of morality of something? Yeah, yeah. So it's probably more of HCl or more over liter of uh, solution, right? So then just use the liter of HCl, that means HCl solution. Right? So that is our, that will be our, uh, this is what we want to find out, right? So our right here, and equal to that, okay? but do we do something about that yet? Do we know anything about this? This, in this equation, do we know the more of HCl? Not very directly, right? Do we know the detail of HCl solution? Yes. Kind of, not directly. Even though we don't know the detail, but we know what, what, what we know is what? Milliliters. So, some of those are very basic conversions. If you have a milliliter, you should be able to very quickly convert that into liters, right? Uh, so, let me do a like, conversion here. Like, if I have 10 pound 0, 0 ml, no matter what ML I have, you just have one and this, right? So I mean, you take the ML divided by 1,000. So you get 0 0.01000L, right? So we put it here, uh, what do we call that? HCL, right? You, so we kind of going like from uh, from two ways. So we we starting like from one right hand, and we figure out more of this that right hand. And we go to like see like what is our target? Our target is to find out this morality of each cell. So, and we have this equation. So we identify this equation. We have this information. What are we missing in the what? What are we missing on, on top? Is, is more of what? More of each cell. Now we're getting, we're getting closer to that, right? But we have more of an OH, but what we need is more of HCl. And remember I said this kind of like the theme of this travel force problem. Right? You have more of something, you should be able to get more of something else by use what? More by use more ratio, right? By use more ratio. We have more ratio from this equation. 
So somehow I can like do the theoretical yield, the limit in red hand, we will call ratio between the red hand and the product. But in that I probably run like an XS how much level over, you might have to use, and in this example, you might have to use more ratio between the red hand, and sometimes use more ratio between the products. Right. So now let's add in like one more step here. Now we use more ratio between the more of HCl and more of NaOH, converting right now the more of NaOH into more of HCl. Right? So which more we shall put on the top, even though this particular problem already it doesn't matter which on the top, but the number are the same. What more shall be on the top? HCl. HCl. So you, are, you want to get HCl more, and you want to put a more of uh, NaOH at the bottom, so you can see this will come out. Right? Then you just read the equation carefully. What you get those numbers in the from this equation's number? What kind of number are you gonna get from this equation to put here as more ratios? And what number we are gonna get from this equation? And we use here as this and this here is for more ratios. Huh? What, what, what we use here for this? What is called this in the more? More ratios. One. One for NaOH. Yeah. For, for, for what for HCl? One. And what what is the name for those for this one and one? What well, are well, the name of the one? Where is the one? One from here, right? And one from here. What what is the name for this for this one here? If I put one here, I put one here. What's the name for that one? Coefficient. Yeah. So I want to hear that. So the coefficient, okay? They use a coefficient to make this more ratio convergence. Right, so therefore we will have the same number. We have a 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 5, 4. Not more, not ACL, I mean, not more, not any waste of ACL. Right? So what do you get? Right, so this is uh, the typical problems about uh, titrations. Can you just use the equation M1, B1 equals M2, B2? For this problem, you are you probably kind of lucky you will get the same answer. Okay. You, you generally cannot use that because M1, M1 times V1, M2 times V2, that means you have one to one more ratio. Oh, that means it's more not changing. But for some reasons, I think the next one, and the CRE, you cannot use that. You have to use what I said here. This is very, very important. Okay. Then you can then you can call it the image like the very, very important. Okay. And this, because this one, this example, you have a one to one ratio, so therefore if you use one one M2, you will get the same answer. Okay. But in general, that's uh, M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. Is for for same uh, for same like compound, for same compound, okay? you dilute. For example, you dilute those compound treated the HCl solution. You will call that an M1 and an V1. And then you will get a new concentration for the HCl. You will call that M2 and V2. Okay? Those reactions, you, know, you will have to do conversion. You're converting from the HCl to the NaOH. And this conversion, because of one to one ratio, so therefore you get the same result. If you use that M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2, but conservatively that, that's very different. So, yeah, so the more ratio is very important. So, whatever the ratio in this example, you have one more acid and one more base. In some other examples, you might have one more uh, base and uh, uh, maybe there are two more acid or two more, uh, like one, uh, two more base and one more acid, whatever those, those numbers you. Okay. Um, so then we will finish that like next week.
Uh, let's try to fit in this one. So don't worry too much about this guy. So this guy is relatively easy. Uh, you just go there like a hit up like a, a power span like a, a, a net, net, not one hour or something. So this titration, and as you see in the example, uh, is about those more-to-more -more conversions. And uh, when you think about more-to-more -more conversions, obviously you are you are need the, the balanced equation. So what kind of reaction we are, we are, we are talking about here? What kind of version we have in here? Is it a precipitation version? Mm, S base. S base. Uh, probably we'll see some of the words. Let me first see your balance equation. I want to see your equation to balance and what is the product and what is your reactance. So get the balance equation first, and then use what I did uh, that uh, change the milliliter into liter, and then multiply by the concentration and get the more for both uh, for both reactants. Right Do you get the equation balance yet? Okay, uh, almost. So, that, so here you should have. Uh, uh, I'm not using 
by the change the milliliters and liters, and I feel that these are modified. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, all you have to do is just get the walls from the media to the other way, too. And from there, you just bring it there. And then you have the most there, you just provide that by the local parameters. And you get the. What do you mean? You first, so let's see. That's the mark of uh, of uh, an So that's first, we know the. Yeah. Yeah, you can first use, I have a certain mind. Yeah, I know, but like she wants to use the email, we have a new wish. I don't need to let the email get a lot of wish. Well, I mean, I have to read. So, um, yeah, that is my point. I have an animal book, an animal point. Um, what is it? Communism and Pesto. Well, yeah, that works. That's common in my mind. This one, the animal point is what? Yeah, that's right. Animal point is what? 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 Yeah. <laughs> what? You learned test on two. 